Yo, yo, yo. Back in the vault. Oh, man. Yo, it's been like a long last couple days, man. It's December 1st. Christmas is officially 24 days away. And um, I'm going to wrap with y'all for a little bit. Shout out to everybody coming in here. If you coming in here, y'all know the rules. You come in here, you hit that like button. Those are the rules. That's the rules in here. You come in here, you hit that like button. Don't just come in this joint. That's kind of like coming to Thanksgiving table without bringing up this joint. You hit that young like button. What's going on, everybody who is coming in the chat, man? So, um, as far as I know, one near me closing. Yeah, man, these uh couple of the foot actions is closing. So, um, what I've heard, and I know I'm gonna have to probably repeat this a couple times because I know as we get our late people come in, P Town 24 was good, everybody Alfredo was good, Luis, El Gato, Jose, uh, US man, everybody who is coming in this joint was going on. So, from what I'm hearing, um, uh, Edward, my blue. So premise bag will be dropping, I want to say, this week. For those who did peek my video yesterday, I do have my collab with Soul Premise. This bag will be dropping this week. And this is an XL bag. XL bags, so this holds up to like size 15 to 16 shoes. So that's something that's a little bit different. A little bit different, but of course y'all know I'll hit y'all up with all the information later. 217 people, 87 likes. Let's get to join to over 100 likes before we get to chatting. So, what I was told, hey, that the, the village and Gary, man, that joint should have been closed because that's like the only store that's open in that joint. But um, what I was told is that the foot action downtown Chicago will be closing. The whole Jordan store, all that stuff is going to be gone. I uh, haven't been down there, but I want to say one side of it is already closed. But they are going to make that a huge foot locker. Y'all know Foot Locker is the head of the whole umbrella with Foot Locker, Foot Action Champs, East Bay, Ladies Foot Locker, all that stuff. Foot Locker is up here. So they're going to move the Foot Locker that's down the street over in that spot and make that a huge Foot Locker. So as far as like the exclusives and things of that nature, we are still going to have the exclusive joint. So that is good to hear. Uh, Lowe's uh, Go Brazy was good. We are still going to have chaotic. Kicks in the building was good. We are still going to have the exclusive stuff. Review it Q was good. Um, we are still going to be getting the exclusive stuff, but they're going to be spread it out through like foot action. So maybe the same three foot actions here that normally get all the good stuff will still be getting it. So that is good, man. Shout out to Florida Native. Shout out to everybody who's coming in here. Again, y'all know the rule. When you come in here, you hit that like button. That's all I ask. I don't ask for nothing else. But when you come in here, you hit that like button because it goes a long way. Now, shout out to everybody that's been using the Rejuvenator promo code. Y'all been going crazy. When you use Unbreak 50, you get 50% off your entire order. I've been shouting out everybody who's been using it. Continue to use it. Shout out to everybody. Now, let's go ahead and talk about these joints right quick because these are a Cyber Monday drop. These drop in tomorrow. And the Grey Twelves. I drop in tomorrow as well. Now, if it was up to me, I would pick the Grey Twelves over the 14s. Ashley Jackson, the promo code is UNBREAK50. U-N-B-R-E-A-K 50. That's the uh you get 50% off on Rejuvenator and you get a and you get a free gift. Also, before we get into the shoes, I did open up slots for the um I did open up slots for the Bread 11s. I did get a decent amount of people today. I will be shipping out something special for everybody who pre-orders a pair of Bread 11s. Something will be going in your box for the holiday season. So if you do want the Bread 11s, hit me up on Instagram. I did make a post. Again, I am throwing in a special Christmas gift. It's something small, but for everybody who does pre-order with me, I am throwing in a gift to kind of balance out the difference. Even though it ain't a big difference because I'm doing 285 shipped, 
That's only well in Chicago it's gonna be two forty five after tax. So you're only you know, doing 40, 40 bucks over per pair, and that's including the shipping plus like twenty to ship. So I'm only really making like twenty dollars a pair. But it's Christmas time. It's all good, man. So with that being said, let's go ahead and talk about these joints right here. Now, they not calling these Ferraris for some reason, but if you look at the bottom, all of the Ferraris kind of have like this carbon fiber look. Now, the regular Jordan 14s don't. They just got, you know, either like a black paint or a red paint or whatever. So all of the Ferraris have like that carbon fiber look on them joints. Okay, so why Nike is not calling these Ferraris, I feel like is a big marketing mistake. They should have called these Ferraris just like Nike didn't want to call those shattered backboards. I feel like that may have a reason on why they didn't sell like they could have, but I still think prices will go up on those. I still feel like it, and I still feel like these are going to go up, even though y'all know I'll be all over the place. Even the um, USC uh, Obsidian ones. These joints over here, I seen that like four pairs sold yesterday for uh two seventy five, and I still got two pairs in a closet, and I got one more gray school that I'm sitting on. So I think, hey, I got a hankering that these joints are gonna go up. But back to these over here. So as you can see, like I was saying, they all have like that carbon fiber type. Look right down here on the heel of the shoe. So these to me are the worst out of all of them. These these are definitely the worst out of all of them. AJ Kicks, what's going on, break? I was just in your neck of the woods visiting from New York shopping at State Street Foot Action Closing. Yeah, bro, it's closing. So we didn't need these. These right here and these were like the best. These two right here are the best. They chaotic kicks. And the crazy thing is, bro, with the 285, honestly, my 285 is the cheapest I've seen for orders on the Bread 11s. That's the cheapest I've seen for Bread 11s, bro. And, of course, you know, people still going to talk. So let them talk while I make some money. So with that being said, let's get back to these. Um, These right here, King Tweezy, yeah, I can't see it. Um... The red Ferraris is hands down the best Ferrari. These would have been, these probably would have been my favorite had these had suede on them. These with that quilt, I'm straight on that. Now, had all of them had like the little interior on the inside, etc., then I would have been cool. But these right here, man, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. Like, the only places that I know that are getting these tomorrow is um sneakers out will be dropping these and state street uh foot action are getting these as well hey king tweezy look bro i've been trying to get to dms all day man so look if somebody needs something or if you need some bro just hit me up in my dms i literally been checking messages or trying to check messages all day it's been tough since the holidays i wasn't really checking messages so i'm trying to get back to grabbing mine um, yeah, and even like right here, like how, how you see the hologram or yeah, the hologram or the Ferrari symbol for the 14 that kind of had like that, that plastic laminated over it. These don't even have a plastic laminated over it either, man. I don't like Jay uh, Harvey. I don't like the quilted either, bro. I don't really like that. I'll probably say I would have liked it better if the entire shoe was quilted. Because to be honest, I, I may not like the quilted, but I like the quilted side better than this side. I'm not a big fan of this side right here. I don't understand what's, what was the purpose of this side right here. You know, ML said because they not Ferraris, but I think you stepped in a little bit late, bro, because all of the Jordan 14 Ferraris have this right here. Look at the design on the carbon fiber. Look at the design on the carbon fiber. They all have it. You know what I'm saying? So in a sense... These are kind of like a Ferrari. Nike just didn't go with naming them Ferraris. That's how I'm looking at it. Or it could be like a hybrid shoe. You know what I'm saying? We got 316 people. We got 165 likes. Let's get that like button up. Like I say, the like button is always free to hit. So I don't know who's going for these. Let me know in the comment section who are actually going for these on the sneakers app tomorrow. Anybody going after these on the sneakers app tomorrow? 
That's the heel for all three. I like how they play off on these, man. Kind of did the inverse. You know what was red on here is yellow on here. What's yellow on here is red on these. So I definitely like how Jordan did the inverse on these. It was just these were so good that anything after these, if it didn't compare to the, the red pair, these right here to me just didn't do it. Even these didn't do it. These didn't do it for me like that either. Even though I did wear them, I did undress these. You can barely tell, but these were worn this year. These are still dead stock. The red pair is still dead stock. And these right here, I will grab these for the low ski. This will be one of those low ski, man. Hey, I got a swoosh account type of digs. You know, I can get them for you for like 150. You know, that's my idea on these joints right here. But anything, anything else? I, I don't I haven't even checked the price on the red joints. Have the red joints gone up? Or are the red joints still sitting around like that $280, $300 price tag? Will these be limited? I'm not sure, bro. Like I said, I know Foot Action Chicago is getting them in store, and I know they're going to be on Sneakers app. But um, I'm not sure if like any Tier Zeros are going to be getting these as well. I'm not sure if any Tier Zeros are going to be getting these joints as well, man. So, look, that's all cool. You no, know, we checked out the 14s, but to me, the highlight of Cyber Monday is going to be these. These will be the highlight for Cyber Monday. Flight Club wants 600 for the red Ferrari size 12. And y'all be talking about my prices. God. <laughs> Man. Um, but yeah, these to me will be the highlight for Black Friday. I think these will be a sleeper. I think a lot of people are going to sleep on these, man. Look, I got some bad news for y'all, bro. I may not be going to SneakerCon LA, man. Don't think I'm going to be going to SneakerCon LA. I pretty much have traveled the world. Well, not the world. I've traveled to the country this year, man. And I honestly just kind of want to relax this last month, man. Um, These right here. Those 12s are outlet bound. I don't, man, I think these 12s are going to be sleepers, bro. 12s are going to be sleepers. Every December, every December, it's always one sleeper shoe. And normally, it's a pair of Air Jordan 6s. But this year, it's not going to be a pair of Air Jordan 6s. Because if you look at it, let's think of the December Jordan 6s. These, uh, the green Ferraris. Ferraris. The Green Gatorades was a December release. Sleeper. What else? These right here, the UNC Sixes, was a December release. It was a sleeper. You know, when what I call by being a sleeper is you slept on it, you thought that man, these might come back out, and then you turned around and them joints were gone. They were gone. I really think those 12s right here are going to be sleepers. Now, of course, more people are going to pick up these 12s because the um, Ferraris are not going to be as available as the 12s, but those are sleepers. What about the Winter 4s? So the Winter 4s got pushed back. Winter 4s got pushed back to the end of the month. Um, I do got a review up on the Winter 4s. I don't think that those are going to be sleepers. I think people are going to get those. People are going to get those. Shout out to my boy Frozone Kicks. Always first to donate over here, bro. Appreciate that. My boy said, I need the original Flint 12s, bro. I'm picky. Same. Now, when it came to these, bro, I have to look at what was the main difference between these and the uh, Flint 12s. And it's pretty much just a sad plate. That sad plate is pretty much the biggest difference. You know what I'm saying? My boy RR said, let's get to 215 likes. Yes. Yes. Hit that like button. Let's get over 200 likes, man. Like I said, if you just came in here, it's free to hit that like button. Go ahead and hit that young like button. The stitching on these joints is weird. Yes, it's not the traditional, you know, stitching that we have. I got plenty of Air Jordan 12s over here, man. And none of them have that stitching. From the French Blues... To the these right here, my favorite twelves that didn't drop this year though. Favorite twelve right here that dropped is right here. My my phone audio is buffering. It sound like you T Pain. These right here, none of them. Those are the first Jordan twelves 
to have a stitch in. You got the obsidians. These joints need to retro too. These joints need to retro too. The OG obsidians, those need to retro. Taxis, I'm, you know, a lot of people want the taxis to come back, but I'm decent on taxis. Maybe because I got a pair and that's just, you know, selfish of your boy, but I'm cool. I feel like with the taxi 12s, we've been wanting it for so long and we haven't gotten it. It's just like, whatever, bro. Give us something else then, man. Um, playoffs. I can't believe my playoffs are still dead stock. One of my favorite colorways in the Jordan 12s. I got the Cherry 12s up here, too. They tried to give us these, man. Jordan brand did us dirty. Cherry 12s. And I'm going to tell you all about my Cherry 12s. So I got my Cherry 12s for a steal. Man, um, trying to remember bro Instagram, man, but he lives in a shy. And um, he gave me these for a steal. It was, I, I think I had to get like, a little bit of the glue because it was a little bit of separation. But I got them for a steal, man. Shout out to my boy Robert Crudup. Me and Robert go way back, man. I'm talking about I was maybe like I was leaving eighth grade when I met my bro Robert, man. And he said, what's good, little bro? What do you think of the DB14s? It's a cop for me. Uh, you know why? You know why I got to get the DB14s? This is why I got to get the DB14s. DB1s, DB2s, DB3s, DB, what my, what my favorite set? DB4s, DB5s, DB6, DB, where they at? Where they at though? Y'all let me know if y'all see them before me. Where my DB7s at? All right, G. So it's about to go down in here. Fall, there they go. Y'all, DB, <laughs> DB7s, DB8s, DB9s, DB10s. We will never. Hold on, y'all got to see my face. We will never get a DB11. I'm letting y'all know. We will never get that. Back to it. DB12. The worst of them all, 13s, then DB15s. So, with that being said, I got to get the DB14s because I have them all in a vault. Am I a fan of that colorway? No, I'm not. And that colorway kind of reminds me of these. Colorway reminds me of the DB12s. And the DB12s, now... Y'all know how Jordan Brand has that one pair that they auction off. And the auction off pair looks way better than these. So the white and purple joints that they have, I feel like those should have been the DB14s. But the black and the... It's just like, because they, they so similar to those, I'm not a fan of them. But because I need to get all the DBs, I got to get them. Now, <coughs> my luck... When it comes to hitting on DBs on Sneakers app, I've never hit a DB on Sneakers app. Never hit a DB on Sneakers app. So normally, well, at least for these right here. I remember my channel was still small when I did a review on the DB7s. Now, with the DB7s, they... um. Where did I get these from? I got these from RU Villa. DB7s, I got these from RU Villa. And at the time, they was doing, you bring a gift, you bring a toy, um, you bring a toy to the store, and it guarantees you your pair. So, do we got a DB16? We ain't got no DB16. Okay, anyways. Um, you bring a toy, you get the uh, shoe uh, for retail, and you, you lock in your pair. Now, they haven't done that at... Um, they, have, they didn't do that last year for the 12s. I mean, they didn't do that last year for the 14, 15s. And I don't think they did it for the 12s. So, I mean, if, if DTLR is, is going to get the 14s, then that will be my best chance of getting them. If not, <sighs> sneakers app it is, but I don't see that shoe having a high resale value. So, regardless, I'm going to get it. Regardless, I'm going to get it. Now, um... 
It was something else I want to talk to y'all about. And I think it has something to do with like the Retro 11s. Yeah. So the Retro 11s, every year I do a video. My 11s start down there with the Pantones. But every year I do a video ranking the Air Jordan 11s. So I'll be getting that video out soon as far as ranking the Air Jordan 11s. Probably once I get my personal pair of the 2019 pair of the Brett's. I'll go ahead and do that video. I also will be doing my uh, challenge. So, I know I got King Tweezy in here. So, I'm challenging all sneaker YouTubers. If you're a sneaker YouTuber and you have, you know, some shoes from the last decade, I'm calling it the Unbreakable Collection Decade Challenge or whatever. I ain't came up with an official. My boy gone AWOL. See, AWOL, he do YouTube too. But with all the drama, you know, he don't really do that. So he's just staying in the back. But AWOL got a dope collection. This is the challenge. Pick out your top 10 in your collection from the last decade. So the shoe has to be from um, um, December 31st, 2000. And what year is it? <laughs> okay. December 31st, 2009. All the way up until December 31st, 2019. But you only can pick shoes that you have in your collection. So if you think, if you want to say, oh, I'm of the Red Octobers, but you ain't got the Red Octobers in your collection, you cannot do it. If you want to say the Air Mags, but you ain't got the Air Mags in your collection, you can't do it. You only can do shoes that you have in your collection. So like if I wanted to do, let's say I wanted to pick... Man, most of my stuff is recent, though, bro. Okay, let me pick some, some old stuff. So, this is like my favorite shoe, the Army, the Olive Greens, okay? These didn't come out in 2009. These came out before 2009, so I cannot pick these to be in my video. I can't pick those either. You only can pick shoes that you have in your collection. So, Chaotic Kicks, in here, too? It can only be shoes from... December 31st, 2009, all the way up until December 31st, 2019. Nothing else. Nothing from 08, nothing from, you know, 07, 06, even though them, they got some heat, but it cannot be any of those. All right? I'm challenging everybody. Let's see some dope content. Let's see some dope collections. Let's see some dope top tens. Just throwing that out there. Only how you join? <clears throat> It's just call it the, I don't know. I ain't even come up with the name yet. Didn't come up with the name yet, but that'll be a dope challenge. See, the Raging Bulls came out in 09, but they came out before December 31st, 09. So Raging Bulls cannot be in it. Are the Bloodline ones sitting? Yeah, they are. And I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised, bro. Y'all got any questions for your boy? So Jay Harvey said the Unbreakable Challenge. Unbreakable Kicks Challenge. Anybody got any questions? Let's see the Union Back Hill. Union Back Hill. Where Union Back Hill? Any other questions? Hold on. JC Kicks, Unbreakable Family. Shout out for the donation, bro. Appreciate that. We got over 400 people, but 249 thumbs up. If you just got in here, hit that thumbs up. Hit that thumbs up. Angel Snow asks, what happened to Foot Action State? They closing it, and they're going to eventually turn into a huge foot locker. That's, that's what I think they're planning on doing. Turn it into a huge foot locker. Rank your DB. So how about this? How about this? I'll do a, a ranking my DB video on the day the DB14s come out. So hopefully I can get them in a vault. I can do a quick review on them, and then I'll do a whole DB collection 1 through 10, 12 through, 4, 12 through 15. That'll be the plan. That'll be the plan. Y'all got any more questions for your boy? Because wifey out there putting up the Christmas tree, and I know I'm supposed to be out there helping. You got the Rising Suns in your collection. I do. Them joints are yellow. So if y'all know anybody who can get yellow on our soles off the patent leather, hit me up. Got the Japanese um, 
insoles in here. They got band. They should, oh, that would be cold. Just think if they did like a Jordan 1 band pack with the Rising Sun. Since the Rising Sun, the insoles got banned. If they did that with the band ones. They can call it like the Jordan band pack or Jordan band collection or something like that. I think that'd be dope. <coughs> Any ideas of when the Off-White Fives come out? Believe them joints come out in February. What's the name of the shoe cases? These come from Container Store. These joints come from the Container Store. Leather on the Ferraris look bad. It ain't the best, bro. It is definitely not the best. How you feel about StockX? Uh, I mean, they, they got a lot of issues going on, bro. So I just say shop with them wisely. I got deals on break next container sale. Hey, I, do got, I do got some containers in the garage. Um, I was supposed to be swiping out the black ones and putting the clears because this is my last row. So one, two, three, four, five, six, these 13. So these 13 will be, will be on sale. Just ain't got to actually selling these joints. Um, are the denim sixes coming out this month? Yes. And if they would have made them like a Levi six, that would have been better. I'm not feeling the denim. Maybe I'm not feeling the color blocking. Not feeling the color blocking on those. Maybe if the denim was this color. Y'all see, look, your boy wears shoes. So maybe if the denim was this color, I probably would have been rocking with it a little bit more. But I'm straight. Still might get them, though. Definitely need to see a review. Definitely need to see them in hand before I give y'all that final, uh, I'm good on them or if I'm going to keep them. Do you think the Jordan 21 will ever retro? It all depends, bro. I mean, they did the 15s, didn't do well. 16, 17, 18s. I thought some 19s were supposed to come out this year, but they didn't. They retro the 20s. The 21s, ain't the 21s that got the red suede? I believe so. Maybe they need to retro that pair. That would be dope. Um, them black drop fronts, our minds break. Hey, chaotic. Hey, for sale, bro. Hit your boy up. Um... Walk on water Air Max is the hottest sneaker out. I don't even know what that is. RR said, let's get the 315. Yes, let's get the 315 likes. Like I said, that like button is free. That joint is free. It's like the air that we breathe. It's free. Just hit it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to know who liking the videos, but it's free. It's free. Y'all know what's another sleeper? These right here, the cool gray nines. Now, a lot of people talk about the cool gray 11s, and I did wear these. But the cool gray 9s, cool gray 9s was so dope. And the crazy thing is, I'm not a big fan of shoes with patent leather other than Jordan 11s. But these joints are so fire. Who in the comments know the original year that the cool gray 9s dropped? You know the original year that the Cool Grey Nines dropped. And if you know the original year, tell me when they retro. I see one person already got it right. Okay. My boy um, Benji Blue, 02. That's when they originally dropped. When did they retro? Retro in 2012. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Those joints... A fire, man. Because a lot of people be hyped on. I wouldn't even say the Cool Gray 4s got a lot of hype, but everybody be on the 11s. Cool Gray 11s. Cool Gray 11s. But them Cool Gray 9s, bro, the 9s to me are better than 11s. I know that's going to be unpopular, but it is. Playoff 11s, definitely a double up. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, to the point where... Shout out to my boy um, Retro Rome for the two dollar donation. Concords, I should have kept my doubles on Concords. Still ain't broke mine out. It's still too early. Still too early. I don't see people rocking Concords no more unless it's like a sneaker event. So that's a good thing for me. So why they still kind of going for the low? Cause I seen a pair today for like two fifty, and I should have grabbed them. I think it was on Soul Steals. Yeah. They had a size 11 and a half on Soul Steel for 250. 
and I should have grabbed them. Because the breads, I'm definitely doubling up on the breads. I should have kept my double up on the Space Jams, but I was just getting to a point where I was just selling all my doubles. Like I sold my doubles in my Royal Ones, my doubles in my Shadows, my doubles in my breads, and I should have kept them. Should have kept them, got rid of some of these other colorways, because y'all know I'm more OG than anything. More OG than anything. What questions y'all got for your boy? Cool Grade Threes, yes. They need to bring them back as well. Here they are right here. <clears throat> Beautiful shoe. Beautiful shoe. Cool Grade Threes. Cat Fours are sleepers. Yes. Yes, they are. They definitely are. I don't know my story, but your boy, dang, these. No, I'm about to say, I could have sworn I wore these. They just still look clean. I, I camped for eight hours at the finish line before I even started working there to grab this pair, man. Camped eight hours. They only had 10 pairs. Never forget that shoe. Playoff 13s. The coldest OG colorway in the 13s. Right up there. My favorite. Hands down. Now, I want to see how dope the army is. I'm going to keep it real. We got 471 people. We got 311 likes. Can we get 400 likes in here? I want to see how dope the army is. Can we get 400 likes? If you didn't hit that like button, go ahead and hit it. I want to see how dope y'all really are. Burgundy Fives. Y'all name it, your boy probably got it. If I ain't sold it this year. We got almost 500 people in here. 334 likes. Hit that like button. These are cold. These are cold too. Motorsport 6s are my favorite non-OG colorway in the Air Jordan 6s. What's so special? <clears throat> tell me, can somebody tell me what's so special about the Motorsport 6s? Something special about these. And also, I'm doing some stupid giveaways at 150K. Just letting y'all know that. 150K, doing some stupid big giveaways. What's so special about those Motorsport 6s? Yes, it's a Jordan race team, but it's something special about it. Quality is on point. Quality is on point. What year did these come out? I know they didn't come out December 31st. I'm about to say these would definitely be my top 10 from the decade. Motorsports dropped. I know in 09, right? Yep. This, no. These dropped 2010. Oh. These dropped 2010, boy. These might be in there. So Motorsports was one of the first Jordans to retail at $185. dollars this shoe right here, Retro, I mean, released at 185 retail. Nothing Jordan brand has ever seen. So 10 years ago was the most expensive Jordan retro that, to release that year was the Motorsport 6s. 185 was retail. <coughs> Black Toe 14s, my favorite OG colorway in the Air Jordan 14s. Hands down, favorite. Favorite, favorite, favorite. This shoe right here is like this shoe right here. So we can move these out the way. It's just certain things that I be peeping from Jordan Brand. I wonder if y'all be catching on to it. <clears throat> Let your boy sit down. Y'all know I'm old. 175 for the motorsports? I thought motorsports is 185. I had to double check on that. I had to double check on that. But look. Between the He Got Games and the Black Toes, pretty much the same color blocking. Same color blocking. Look at the tongue. Red on red Jordan. Red Jordan. Black tongue. All right. Black toe box. Look at the back. Black. Got white down there. A little bit of red. So this is pretty much a He Got Game 14, if you want to call it that. You know what I'm saying? There ain't nobody calling it that. But same color blocking. Same exact color blocking. Somebody asked me about the white and blue 
18s. Right there. Those and these were dope. I actually like both of them. Bro, I have no clue what the Riverwalk 8s are. And I have no um no playoff 8s. Wait, wait, wait. Playoff 8 lows. I do have playoff 8s. I don't have playoff 8 lows. Bostic. I'm sure Bostic probably got a pair of playoff 8 lows. <sighs> Man. Terrible Black Friday release right here. This is what started all the... All the terrible Black Friday releases started right here. These right here. Mar Mar wait. Mar Marbolo Knives? What's Marbolo Knives, Justin? They got cigarette knives now. Another favorite. These right here, man. These Mott Mellows. Y'all know Mello, one of my favorite players, man. So once he had these that dropped. Dope. Did I miss some? My bad. ACH. X jump to raw. My bad, bro. I missed. Shout out for the $4.99 donation. He said, bro, what is so still and how can I cop Yeezy 380s when the re-release is what I'm hearing? At least I struck out the first time. I don't know if them aliens is going to drop. But um, Soul Steals is a website where you can. It, it's a it's a membership prescription, website prescription subscription. You don't gotta take no medicine for it. It's a subscription website where they do raffles. They have shoes for below retail. Um, I personally know the owner of it. Good guy, legit. Everything is cool, and you pay like twenty bucks a month. You can get shoes for the low. That's pretty much what it is. Pinnacle Sixes. I sold my Pinnacle Sixes this year. Like, it may not look like it. Let me stand back. It may not look like it, y'all, but I sold probably like 80 pairs this year. I sold 80 pairs, and I still have no room in here. Sunset Fives, Miguel, I need those. You got the Diffuse Blue Jordan Sixes? Yep. When they was calling these, the Jimmy Butlers. Another December sleeper. These dropped in December of last year, I want to say. And these were sleepers. At least they were sleepers to me. That's when he was still playing with the Timberwolves. Can we get to 400 likes? 400 likes. I need 33 people who hit who haven't hit that like button to go ahead and hit that like button. I need 29 more people to hit that like button. 9OG. 10 more people to hit that. 6 more people to hit that like button. 4 more people. You sold 80 and bought 40. Now, nah, bro, I sold 80 and bought 100. <laughs> uh, Derek Staple said, how, how you feel about PEs being redone as GRs? Well, bro, I will turn around so you can see my face, but I'm sweating. But, um, <laughs> uh, I, cool. You know what I'm saying, bro? Me personally, I don't care, bro. It's just like... I buy what I buy because I like it. You know, like those Jordan 3s, the UNC joints that's coming out, the average man, including myself, because I'm the average man, just on a daily, we can't be affording $5,000 pair of shoes. So if Jordan can take off something off the tongue and make it $190 and easily available for everybody, then cool. Why not? Like, for instance... Everybody love to talk about the Michigan 12s. So the Michigan 12s right here, you got those, and then you got the PEs. So whenever they do a GR that drops, it's never 100% like, excuse me, whenever they do a, a GR that dropped as a sample, <clears throat> they never do it 100% exact, okay? GR... PE. Just from the back, you can tell a difference. The the um sample was a sample of three. So you had PSNY, you had Jordan brand, and you had Michigan. So you can even see you got PSNY on the in, on the uh, insole, and the sock liner is yellow. For the general release pair, 
as you can see, sole looks the same, colorway is the same, no PSNY, blue sock liner. So it's minor. It's very minor. You know, like I paid two bands for these. So had I known that these was going to come out, I would never bought these. So in a sense, it saves people the money to grab them because let's be honest, there's so many fakes of these PEs out and samples. Only buy them from my man Sneaker Slus on IG. That's pretty much why. Or or English Souls. Those are the only two people that I grab. And my boy Jose. My boy Jose is legit too. I went through like a like a, a middleman trade with my boy Sneaker Slus and Jose and was able to get the. I mean, when it comes to Buying PEs, if you want to get into that, know who you're dealing with all over, you know, trying to buy them off eBay. I will never buy a PE or a sample off eBay. I will never do that. You can't trust it. Never, ever, ever do that. Okay? Other questions. Break, you think Playoff 13s are coming next year? Probably not. Olive Nines are sleepers. Olive Nines... Blue Fatter, my boy, Chi-Town, Boss. Um, Olive Nines, dope OG colorway. And I know I have them somewhere, right here. These Olive Nines were so hard for me to get. I remember when they retroed in 2012, there was only one spot in Champagne that got them. And that was before I was... Actually, I could have got them, but I didn't like the colorway. But now it's like... Sometimes you may not like the shoe, you may not like the colorway, but you respect it. This Olive Nine deserves respect. Dope shoe right here. Cardinal Sevens. Cardinal Sevens retro so many times, bro. But I do got a pair over here. Do got a pair. All right. So it's been 42 minutes, y'all. 42 minutes, man. I enjoyed this time. I had my daughter calling my name. So with that being said, like always, man. You know, do what you got to do. I Sometimes, wait, what's what's the name I gave myself? Because somebody told me to end on a positive note. And I think I called myself, uh, was it Deacon Break? Yeah, because he got past the flight. So I'm Deacon Break. All right, so with that being said, man, um, keep grinding. You know, keep moving. I want y'all to see my face, though. Keep grinding. Keep moving. You have plenty of obstacles that come your way. And I'm not talking about no YouTube stuff. I'm just talking about... Just in life in general. You are in charge of your own life. So if you got goals, if you got plans, you are in charge if those goals and plans do come. Nobody, and I mean nobody, can stop you on your own path. It might be a lot of distractions out there, but just stay focused on your own path and you can honestly achieve anything that you put your mind to. So other than that, you got your boy Deacon Break. You got the Unbreakable Vault. Unbreakable Army stands strong like always. Every live, I'm going to end it off on some positive quote, on some positive tip. Pause. And we out.